Ashley and Chuck have a three-year-old daughter together. Oh. But Chuck is now married to Heavenly. Oh. Recently, Chuck claimed that his three-year-old daughter told him she was molested by her grandfather, Chris, oh. while living in his house, and Heavenly said she saw signs of abuse. Oh. But the child's mother, Ashley, believes Chris is innocent and that Chuck and Heavenly are coaching the child in an attempt to destroy her family. Take a look. My stepdaughter told me that she was molested by her grandfather, Chris. It all happened when I picked her up from school. The teacher told me she was irritated down there. I took her into the bathroom and checked her and asked her what had happened. And she told me that her grandfather touched her front and her back. I called my husband, told him I was taking her to the emergency room, and I took her to the hospital. They did examinations on her private parts and said that she had open sores and that she had been most likely molested. After I took her to the emergency room, they notified CPS of what was happening and they questioned my stepdaughter. I asked her mother, Ashley, if she was left at her grandfather's house. She told me yes, but that my stepdaughter was lying. Ever since CPS has found the case founded, my stepdaughter only goes to her mother's on the weekends, and she's to have no contact with Chris at all. When Chris found out that this was going on, he accused me and my husband of coaching her. I would never coach my stepdaughter. I think that they're accusing us because they want to look like the good parents, when really they're not. My stepdaughter has never changed her story. Chris's wife, Darcy, sent me a text message saying that this is not the first time that Chris has been accused and he's passed the lie detector test before. I hate Ashley. I think she's a piece of crap mother that needs to learn how to take care of her children. She needs to realize that Chris is a child molester and that he did do this to my stepdaughter. I want everybody to know that me and my husband would never coach my stepdaughter into saying these things. I want Chris to go to jail to make sure he can never do this to a third person. I want justice to be served for my stepdaughter. We asked Chris, have you ever sexually molested your granddaughter? He said no. And the results of the two polygraphs that we gave Chris is that he told the truth. We asked Heavenly, did you coach your stepdaughter to say she was molested by Chris? You answered no. Are you fabricating the story that your stepdaughter claimed to have been molested by Chris? You answered no. Are you lying to set Chris up? And you answered no. The results for your lie detector test came back, and they came back that you did not tell the truth. We asked Chuck. Did you coach your daughter to say she was molested by Chris? He said no. Are you, does, oh, I stand by my daughter. <laughs> Are you fabricating the story that your daughter claimed to have been molested by Chris? He said no. Are you lying to set Chris up? Guess what? He didn't tell the truth either. <laughs> Let's bring out Dan Rebikoff. Um, in my opinion, one of the worst things you can do that we handle on our show, accusing somebody of being a child molester when you know that they didn't do it. You're fabricating the story, you're making it up. Um, he wasn't a Navy SEAL, he wasn't trained to beat a lie detector. No. Uh, what did you say you were, a pothead and a... <laughs> an alcoholic. An alcoholic. Uh, but you're, you've been better, right? You've been trying to... I quit drinking because I don't... I, I quit everything. I don't want my granddaughter for you. Good for you. Good for you. Um, um, what, do you, what do you want to say about this heavenly and this Chuck? Well, heavenly's results were certainly not heavenly, Steve, okay? <laughs> she blew that test up and failed it miserably. Our dear friend Chuck, the irony of it is he's accusing him of countermeasures, and Chuck is the one that came in here trying to employ countermeasures. Yeah, and it's very obvious to the polygraph examiner because what you do is not natural. So they read this on the internet and they figure they're going to come here and try to beat an examiner who's experienced. You know what? You're a clown if you think you're going to do that. Yeah. Thank you, Steve.